onset, I support uh, this bill, but uh, like other members who have spoken before me, uh, we will need to have some amendments on this bill, particularly on uh, equalization fund, which I find to be very misplaced in this bill. It should not be in this bill at all. And I've also looked at uh, uh, the schedule proposed under equalization fund and noted that uh, that proposal in itself is discriminatory in the sense that uh, we have 34 counties which have been listed and we have not been told which criteria was used to do that allocation because I can see my county is not included and yet all the other neighboring counties are included. Counties which have even more uh, higher levels of uh, uh, lower levels of poverty like Kisumu uh, I can see Bungoma is there, Siaya, Nandi, Homa Bay, almost all the counties within the lake region are included, but uh, Vihiga County is not included. So I will support any amendment to remove this particular uh, uh, aspect from this bill. After all, it's misplaced and it is very discriminatory to uh, other counties. To lump Vihiga among the rich counties, I think is very unfair. Because I can tell you there are so many places in my county which are hardship areas. And uh, I think the government needs to change the criteria of determining which areas are hardship and which areas are not hardship. Because clearly we see some areas are listed as being... Uh, non-hardship when in fact there are areas which are uh, having a lot of challenges with poverty, with infrastructure, like those other counties that have been given priority on this. But what is important, Madam Speaker, is that uh, this bill is long overdue uh, and is going to unlock 32 billion shillings to the counties. And I think uh, the committee needs to move with speed uh, so that we conclude this matter in, in this house probably before we go for recess. Uh, and uh, uh, we hope that the National Assembly is going to do the same so that this money is released to these counties as soon as possible. Uh, this money is going into various uh, uh, aspects of our county development, including improvement in health, agriculture, uh, rural inclus inclusivity, climate change, water and sanitation, uh, and I think it's an even informal settlement. So, Madam Speaker, counties have been waiting for this money, and I think we'll do a service to this country if we will be able to pass this bill within the shortest time so that our counties are able to receive this money. I also want to uh, concur with uh, Senator uh, uh, Tobiko on the issue of county headquarters. I think it's very strange that some counties are still constructing headquarters. Yeah? Ten years uh, after devolution, really this is surprising and I think something has to be uh, this matter has to be investigated further by the relevant uh, committee of Senate to find out why this huge delay and yet these counties have been receiving money. Madam Speaker, this bill also introduces very strong mechanism of accountability on uh, all the monies that are taken to the county in form of grants, loans and from development partners. And I hope that uh, upon the passage of this bill, we will have strong mechanisms on the ground to ensure that every single coin that is sent to the counties in form of additional allocation is used for the purpose that is supposed to be used and there is value addition to uh, the citizen of this country. Madam Speaker, 
you are well aware that some of the counties have been misappropriating this money. And I think this bill, to a large extent, is going to help in uh, enhancing transparency and accountability. In fact, this bill proposes some mechanism of reporting under Clause 9, uh, where it talks about uh, the reporting that is going to be done on matters of transfer on monthly basis. I think that will enhance information flow and it will also help us as senators to be able to track uh, the movement of monies to counties and be able to oversight very effectively. Madam Speaker, uh, other colleagues have also talked about medical leasing. Uh, I think this is a very serious matter uh, that uh, we have uh, allowed it to go on and on. And yet the counties are not getting maximum benefits from this uh, medical leasing equipment program. I think it is a high time that uh, this uh, particular uh, arrangement between the national government and the county government is stopped so that our counties continue uh, getting money for the right purposes and then also removing the uh, possible uh, misuse of public funds in form of medical leasing equipment uh, uh, arrangement between the national government and the county government. Madam Speaker, I don't have uh, additional information to give on this, but I want to emphasize that we would need to fast track the legislation on equalization fund so that we have a proper uh, legal framework in place of determining even the counties which are supposed to benefit from this equalization fund and also to comply with the constitutional requirement. And I hope this is going to be prioritized by the relevant committee uh, in, assist, in um, co conjunction with the National Assembly so that we have a proper uh, legal framework on uh, matters to do with equalization. For those few remarks, Madam Speaker, I support. Thank you. Uh, Senator uh, Veronica.